Judah, what are you looking at, buddy? This has got to be the hardest thing day in and day out. They are so looking for a person, a home. These boys are nothing but love. This is Judah and Moses because I have Judah in front of me. Moses, come here, buddy. Moses. Moses. Come here, bud. Come here. Come here. Come over here. Go with Lori. All they want, all they want is this. This is all they want. They want love. They want a person. They want a lap. And they want each other because they are completely bonded. Moses right here. Hey, Moses. Shih Tzu Mix, four years of age. Judah. Hi, handsome. Hi, gorgeous boy. Same, four years of age, Shih Tzu Mix. We have had them for months and months, and we rescued them from the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. After we rescued them, we found out that they were completely bonded, and they knew each other, and they had the IDs close to each other, so they came from the same place. They could be brothers. They could just be friends, grew up together, and then, again, found a strays on the street of Miami, completely matted, unrecognizable as what you're looking at right now. They look nothing like this. Every day and night we sit and we watch these babies as they get more and more depressed because all they want and all they crave is a loving forever home together. We will not separate them. We are doing everything in our power. And I know all of you have, as we've posted, the first thing out of your mouths under the comments, the posts, please keep them together. Please don't separate them. Guys, we're trying our best to do just that and keep these two together. I want you to look into this face and you look into these gorgeous, soulful, sweet, sad eyes. He is so lonely and sad and all he wants is a loving forever home with his best buddy, Moses. I can't tell you the sleepless nights that our team has over these two boys. Um, we've been... We were fortunate enough to get them into a foster for a few days and then we had to go pick them up and they were brought back today, this morning, and back into a kennel. And they don't understand what they did wrong if they're placed in a loving home and they're behaving themselves because we were told that they were angels. They were such good, good boys. Together, easy, chill. And they desperately, desperately need that chance to have that loving home together. Come on. Come on, Judah. You see, when a person walks in the room, all they want is love. They're so friendly. They're so friendly. Pour your heart out, Lori, because Lori is losing sleep. She's sick to her stomach. They just, they're joy. They're just complete joy. That's what they are. Joy. They're good boys. They keep each other company. They play with each other. They'll sit and snuggle with you on a couch. They'll mind their own business and just be do by their thing. Independent. Do their thing. They're, They're easy. easy. They don't require They're so entertainment. Easy. Look, they just follow you around. They follow each other. They're magnificent to look at. They're nothing but love. They didn't keep them because they weren't going to keep them. They're only a temporary foster. They had vacation. They have work being done at their home. Um, they did us a favor of breaking them out of the kennel for, you know, a few days, a week. Uh, I don't even know how many days was it? Four? Four days? Five days? Something like that. And then for them to come back, they're just so confused because they were in a home with each other, you know, sleeping on their beds and having a fenced yard to run and do their thing and be in a home environment and not sitting in a, ca a kennel. Yeah, now they got to go back in a Yeah, now they're in a kennel, not even a room because our rooms are full. We have Apollo in one. We have Mommy and Babies in the other. We have Disco and Albert. And now we have them back, and we have no room for them. So they have to go back, and they have to go into a kennel, which, trust me, I'm going to take you right along the journey when we have to put these two boys back into their run so you can see what we have to go through on a daily basis 
you know, you would think that rescuing a dog is just such a feel-good feeling, right? And you think it just fills your heart with nothing but joy. And it does in a way, but I'll tell you what, you start thinking and you start thinking about what they've endured, what they've been through. You see the broken souls, you see the sadness. And then you see, because of our love and 24 hours, literally seven days a week with our team, you know, the work that goes into these babies to restore their faith in humanity and to trust. Um, I will tell you that Judah is a toy hoarder. <laughs> he will be your, all he wants is a pile full of, oh, and it talks. Oh, he's in heaven. What is that, Judah? All he wants is his toys, 24-7 toys, toys, toys. That's it. They're such fun. They're such great dogs. There's just no Moses, reason. what do you think? What do you want to say? What do you want to say? Tell huh? me, Moses. Tell, Tell me. Him. Speak. Speak. Go I ahead. love you. Look Even at this a face. foster. Just a foster. Anything to get them out of here because we can't take it. I mean, this is what you've got. You've got Judah, who will be playing with his toys nonstop. Nonstop. And you have Moses, Mr. Personality. Big time. Big personality. Big. And shy boy. And Judah's the shy one. He's so magnificent. Oh, God, that face gorgeous. on him. Teddy bear. A big teddy bear. teddy bear. And their hair hasn't even grown in yet. Oh, God, Look at his yeah. hair growing in though. Remember how shaved they were when they first came <laughs> in? Fuzzy, yep. You getting to be a fuzzy wuzzy bear. You were just a fuzzy wuzzy mose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to pet both or we get jealous. Yes. 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 We, pet both we get jealous. Yes. Don't have to be jealous. There's enough love to go around, boys. Sure. Plenty. Um, they're going to be at our adoption event this weekend for sure. I'm going to make it happen. They have to be there. What is it on a Sunday, guys, Sunday. from 12 to 2 in Boca, mm -hmm. uh, Boynton this Beach? Weekend. Boynton Beach, right? What's the name of the animal hospital? Colonial Gateway. Colonial Gateway Animal Hospital in Boynton Beach from 12 to 2. We're definitely going to have Moses and Judah. I'm not sure who else will be attending, but we will have other dogs there. Um, and please, you don't even have to wait for an adoption event to meet these amazing boys. You can just no, call, email, if you can offer any assistance whatsoever, whether it's a foster. And we are located in Fort Lauderdale, and no, we cannot ship or transport. Um, we have driven two, three, four hours to get dogs home. I have no problem with that. But we do have to see the home, <clears throat> and we have to make sure it's a perfect fit. Judah, hey, I've got to get you. I've got to get you. They're so happy to be You're around so that cage. Happy. They're so happy to be around They just want line. to be around a person. Bonded, bonded, bonded pair. Yes. Moses, Judah. Bonded, bonded. We're not separating them, guys. So come on. Please share this video. Share. I can't tell you how many of our dogs have been adopted simply because one person hit the share button and it reached that person that wanted them. I cannot tell you and reiterate how many adoptions that we have gotten and received. I'm the one that takes the calls. This is Amy. Hi, I, I saw a post um, about so-and-so, and I'm like, oh, well, thank you. Where are you calling from? Where did you see the post? A friend of mine shared it on Facebook, and it ended up on my Facebook news feed. So please don't, for one second, think that your sharing doesn't make a difference because it takes a second. It doesn't cost anything. It literally takes a second. If you could please hit the share button for Judah, Moses, Judah, Moses. Please, I'm begging of you. Begging, begging. begging. Please, I'm hoping this phone is going to ring. I'm hoping I'm going to get an email. I'm praying that we can get these babies out of here and into a home environment where they belong. It's only going to set them back, and it's going to make them depressed. It's going to reverse everything that we have done positive to make them feel safe and loved, for them to be alone in a kennel, cold environment. We don't understand, understand either. Don't get it. Don't understand why they're still here. I will beg, I will plead all day and night if that's what it takes to get these babies into homes, no matter what, no matter what. You're fine. Come on in, Rachel. Rachel's in. Your friend's here. You want to go say hi to Rachel? Yeah? Okay. Oh, there she got. Friendly. Yep, there they go. Following <laughs> Rachel around. Go ahead, Judah. Your turn. Go ahead. He's got the toy. Yeah, he's got the toy. So he is a toy. You have no competition. <laughs> you can see this fluff balls. Look at him. 
All he want is just love, 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 love. Love, love, love. Uh-uh. <laughs> Moses. Get over here. Get, you be nice boy. He's being sweet. Are you being a brat? Not everybody likes face mushes. No, he, do, he doesn't. Face. I always tell people not to mush in his face. face. Oh, Just never know. Face. I love that you have no fear. It's awesome. <laughs> she goes right in. She goes right in. So, guys, this is my my video. My begging, begging, begging. Do you want to keep them out for a while, Lori? Or do you want to bring them down and I'll follow? Okay. I am going to be... Suck. This is the worst part. The worst. The worst. It makes me sick. Here's one, Lori. I'm going to follow you. Hi, baby. I know. You know, guys, I'm, I'm getting... Oh, uh, Jane, <clears throat> I don't think so. I think they'd be best to be the only pets, just the two of them, without any other dogs. Definitely no cats. So the two of them would make a great, great... Just the two, please. You ready? Yeah. All right, here I come. Watch how good they walk today. <clears throat> I'm losing battery, so we gotta come on. Let's go, Lori. I don't know if you can have the. Um... No, I'm not. No, come on. Be careful. Take your time. Take your time. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Got it. Come on, buddies. Come on, guys. This is the hardest and the absolute worst. Worst. Everything they do, they're touching side by side. Look, they think they're actually leaving. They probably think they're going, getting out of here. They're excited. And this is what we have to do. We walk them, we love them, we spend time with them, and then we have to do the worst thing. The worst thing possible. There's a dog up there. Got it. We're going to the left, and we don't know. Yeah. No, this one. That's you guys. Look at they didn't even bark. Look at that. No cats. Yeah, they didn't even bark. The no other thing. two were just going crazy no. at them. And sadly, all the runs are... Here, give me. Get the other one out. Come here. I think, yep, just drop it. We have to feed them. Here we go, guys. I'm back. I'm sorry. Here we are. So this is what I was trying to say. So here they are, Moses and Judah. 